Hi, Laura Spencer for Tuts Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an out of office message using Gmail. We'll start with the screen that you would normally come up to when you open your Gmail. The inbox here is empty because I'm using this Gmail for demonstration purposes. The first thing you want to do is go up to the settings symbol in the upper right hand corner of your screen and click on the little arrow. Select the settings option from the submenu and you'll see the settings screen. Now the settings screen displays all of the various options that you can change from within Gmail. The vacation responder is at the bottom of this screen so let's scroll down and take a look. You'll note that by default the vacation responder is turned off. Let's click the toggle button to turn it on. The next thing you want to do is define the dates when you will be using this vacation responder message. Click in the middle of the first day field and select the date from the calendar. For me it's August 10th, the first day of my vacation. I know when my vacation is going to end so I'm also going to use the last day field. Again I click in the calendar and select the last day of my vacation. Now our next task is to type the subject of our vacation responder email. The subject line is very important because many people don't actually open emails, they'll just scan the subject lines in their inbox. So we want to convey as much information as possible in the subject line. Okay, there it is, short and sweet. So anyone scanning through the subject line in their inbox would probably realize that I'm not available to op answer email until 818. But we do want to go ahead and type in the body text of our message for those people who need more information. Notice that I've named a contact for emergency situations. In this case, John Doe at XXX5550123. This is a good idea if you have clients or colleagues who frequently need help right away. This can reduce a lot of frustration. Just be sure and tell the person that you're using as your backup that they'll be getting calls on your behalf while you're gone. So we've turned our vacation responder on. We've named the first and last day when we'll be using the responder. We've typed our subject line and the body text. We have one more very important decision to make before we can finalize this vacation responder. You'll see this checkbox next to the message, only send a response to people in my contacts. What this means is that the vacation responder will only go to people who send you an email who are in your contact list. You want to select this option because you don't want your vacation responder going to email subscriptions that you've subscribed to or junk mail that you receive. Also, note that Gmail has a handy feature that says that the vacation responder will only go out to one recipient every four days. So once a recipient has, used your, has received your vacation responder message, they won't receive it again for another four days. This eliminates a lot of frustration if they've ignored the fact that you're out of office and keep sending you email messages. They won't get your vacation responder message over and over again. So everything looks in order for this vacation responder. Let's go ahead and save our changes. And that's it. We've created a vacation responder message using Gmail. This is Laura Spencer for Tuts Plus. Thank you.